Uh, hello, good evening. It is August the 11th, 12th, I think, 2020. So still COVID, still lockdown. The rains have come and it feels like um, I, uh, it feels like I'm uh, Sam Ganji in the, in the um, Lord of the Rings calling for the, <laughs> rejoicing over the eagles. Or for, uh, was it Sam or was it uh, Bilbo? Bilbo and Sam, both of them. Anyway, episode 28. This is more of a project and process video. Um, so not really working on any particular song uh, um, tonight anyway, but um, plans for the weekend. One, two, three. So yeah, at the moment, and uh, I'm not 100% sure that the schedule is gonna stick um, still a couple pieces in play but um, at the moment it's possible we'll have like a 5pm start on the Friday uh, be able to work through the Saturday and most of the Sunday um, depending on um, yeah how those pieces sort of slot in um, so I've got it in my mind a sort of basic structure of what to try and get out of the weekend and there's a few things to tackle um, the first thing that I'm hoping to get out of it and probably the most important thing of all I would think um, so I'm just going to try and get a bit more air in here it's raining but it's still so hot England is having a Mediterranean summer guys so weird anyway um, so the main thing to gain from this is really having James's ear on everything that's been worked on so far in my mind um and i think we're i think we're i think we're sort of aligned on that there's been work done on all of the tracks that james has sent me um stuff that he's listened to but then also stuff that i've done that he probably hasn't um and there's also tracks that i've just worked on completely independently that he hasn't heard yet so my kind of thought process is that the most important thing to tackle is to get that objective listen through on everything that we plan on working on and when i say working on the the i suppose the premise behind the weekend is to get to a point where we have a selection of tracks that are ready to be mastered really um and the options as far as mastering go i think are limited um, but also quite clear, so not too difficult to to work through. The difficulty is the mixing at this point, for me anyway, because I'm so lost in um, a whirlwind of, you know, creating and then listening back and creating and listening back that I don't have any kind of objective perspective, objective perspective, <laughs> on on how they should sound coming out. I have no idea if they're any good. Um, I mean, I like them, but that's about all I can tell you at this point. Anyway, oh, I don't know James likes them and people have heard them and liked them, but you know, there's a bigger picture. Anyway, so six tracks that potentially we might work on. Breath, Smile, Vacate, The Credence, Weasels, Left of Me. And so my idea at this point in time is that we should, um, do a James I think is going to bring his PA with him because we're going to set the front room up as a live room and do potentially a um, live stream at the end of the weekend from there or maybe on the Saturday night I'm not sure which that means there will be more rain maybe it will get even cooler I can already feel it feeling a little bit cooler anyway uh, is that true I don't know uh, so We'll have the PA in there, and I kind of am thinking at this point in time, actually, that might be a really good idea. If he brings the PA down, we set that up as the live room, and then when he, when we get started on the Friday afternoon, the first thing we do is we kind of putter about, make some dinner, play through the tracks, just get an overview of all of those six, um, where they are at this point in time. I, in addition, have added in um, to my list of things that potentially could be explored. Reef, Templeton's Blues, Podcast Project, and Thy's iPhone. Um, 
Now, two of those are older tracks. Tem Thigh's iPhone, obviously, we've done. I've done some performances of and a little bit of work on, but not much at all, um, and not really something James has had his hands on in any way, shape, or form. Um, Reef, that's completely new. Um, in terms of its current iteration, I mean, James hasn't had any touch on that either yet. He's listened. I think he's listened. He's seen, listened and heard both. But um, Tempest and Blues. That's been something that I've been playing since I first sort of picked up the electric guitar. Um, so James has had many experiences with that song. And actually the current version of that is something from his suggestion. And I approached it very much from a point of view. Okay, we're, we're going to write a song out of this. Here's all the different ways I think this riff or this whatever it is. It's basically blues, um, 12 bar blues. Here's how I think this could could work or move. Here's all the different ways I could play it, um, and that's where it sits at the moment. So it's kind of this unformed um, potential thing. Um, podcast project is something that James and I worked on together. It's a riff of mine, but it's something that I think he worked on the drums for, and um, I think maybe even I think he might have wrote, written the bass line. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he did. Um, and then I, I think I re-performed it and re-recorded it after his initial performance, but he wrote the original bass line, which is, um, yeah, it's kind of one of the biggest hooks in there. Um, so those all those four could all be bumped off the list. I, I'm not precious about any of that. Um, it'd be fun to try and work on them. I think for me, the main focus is the ones that we've already worked on together that we're quite deep into to try and get them off the board. So we can kind of clear some space for some other things to do. And also maybe look back at James's catalogue, which he's got a fuck, fuck load of, um, and get to some of those. And that's an, that brings to mind another point that um, I think uh, is important. So there's some things that we didn't get to in the last uh, podcast, mainly because we spent the majority of it talking about aliens. But... Um, and if you're interested, aliens are real, and you should go back and listen to that episode that's on my uh, channel. It's um, Sheds, Weasels, Beasles, uh, Beetles and Bars, and it's episode uh, four. Um, yeah, anyway, aliens are real. So, um, the podcast, I thought about, um, because I'm still a little unsure about what this process means in terms of release stuff. Are we in the process of making a joint album? Or are we in the process of making two separate albums? Or should we be thinking about um, just releasing singles um, as, as individual artists? Or what should we be doing? So I think we need to discuss that somewhat. So yeah, going back to the kind of structure for the weekend, my process as I've got it set up at the moment is we do the listen through no, not really sort of, you know, it's we're listening through just listening, have dinner, whatever we film a podcast episode from in here um, where we go through all of the tracks, talk about the structure of what we're going to do. See if we can come to some kind of consensus on the, the album point of view or the release schedule or whatever it happens to be. I've got this kind of arbitrary date where I'm going to release something, um, which, you know, I'm still a hundred days or so away from. Um, and then on the Saturday, we either, we either then concentrate on trying to do overdubs, we record vocals, any guitar parts we want to do for all of those um, six tracks and or work on new material. Or we do all of the stuff that I was talking about and then maybe a rehearsal for the live performance on the Sunday. Or we spend the day trying to play together live to get the rehearsal. There's a plethora of options. I kind of, like I said, the, my main focus really is to get this, these six tracks to the point where we can take them off the board and we don't have to think about them anymore. Um, and we can either then release them as singles or we can 
do what we don't even do. We can do whatever, right? So however long that process takes, I think that should be the focus. The live performance, I actually tried to um, sit down and do a live version of Breath um, and stream it, actually. Um, and I got... Admittedly, not a lot of practice, but bearing in mind that this is a song that I've kind of been obsessing over for the last two or, two odd months, two or three months, longer than that actually, much much longer than that. Um, and you know, I've recorded multiple versions of it. I've done lots of different instrumentation on it. I've done all kinds of bits and pieces with it. Sat down and tried to play and sing it. Couldn't get through it. So um, you know, the acoustic performance is again always for me a bit of a the live stuff is always a bit more of a leap for me. So definitely going to need some rehearsal time probably can't i don't know how much of the set that we've got at the moment we could incorporate in or what any we could add any new stuff or exactly what we do with that so that's going to require some rehearsal time and that's going to require some thought um as well um but it, it it still feels like a great opportunity to really get through some stuff so i'm really looking forward to it so anyway i hope that is of some interest like um and um yeah, looking forward to doing and maybe seeing if you like what you've watched and you've actually watched this at all, um, you d do please subscribe though. <laughs> That's very kind. Um, or like it or whatever. And uh, I think we'll put stuff up about the gig on a Facebook page, both of our Facebook pages, and maybe see you there.